How fast can you become a full-time voiceover talent? Or put another way, how long does it take to go full-time in voiceover? What's going on? I'm Bill DeWeese. Welcome to the Daily Voiceover Huddle. We do this every weekday at this time to share a thought, a tip, trick, strategy, something to help you make money in voiceover. It's a great way to start your voiceover day, and I'm so glad you're here. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. Like the videos that you like, thumb, give them the big thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, colleagues, people that you know are trying to get into voiceover. This, this is the place to be nearly 1,300 videos on the topic. If you can believe that, I find it hard to believe. This humble channel began a number of years back. Um, honestly, I, had, I didn't know what I was doing. I'd never, I'd never been on YouTube before. Found it a bit overwhelming, but what a great place to get together to share important information. Uh, by the way, the construction crew, they are at it this morning. They must be on a coffee break right now because up until about two minutes ago, they were hammering and sawing and scraping and pounding. I tell you what, one thing I've decided, if we ever have to move again, I'm never going to move into a situation that requires remodeling unless I can get it done before I move there. Or I'll just, you know, just do it from scratch because trying to work through all this stuff is it's crazy. It's insane, but we're, we're making it happen. Uh, by the way, make sure you check in on the live, uh, live stream chat. Just let me know where you're watching and listening from this morning. We'll do a few shout outs in just a couple of minutes. So, okay, let's talk about how long, how long does it take? It's a good question. I get asked that question often, and I understand it's a practical question. Uh, a lot of people are looking to make the shift from their current job into another one. Or perhaps they're, they're being downsized, you know, like I was, which is, was the impetus for me to get into voiceover, whatever the case is. And there we go. We're off to the races. Um, trying to, they're trying to figure out a timeline. The problem with that is, well, it depends. There's like five variables. I'm going to share those five variables with you. But a lot of people that have n never owned their own business will often think of it almost like getting a job. Well, you know what? I've done this job, I make this much money, and now I'm going to become a voiceover talent, so how much money will I make? Well, building a business is totally different than having a job. Uh, the onus is on you, not the business owner, to bring in, you know, business or to write you a paycheck. You are chief cook, bottle washer. You do everything. You're responsible for your paycheck, which means you've got to go out and find the clients, create the product, market it, you know, the whole shebang, or at least you have to coordinate that effort. So building a business is not like going out and getting a job. Uh, the upside is far higher than in most jobs, but you have to build it. And that's a big part of what I do here on the channel. I share the things with you that you need to know. So what are the five variables that will together combine to determine how long it takes you to become a voiceover, full-time voiceover talent? Well, there's actually a sixth. And let me just mention that as an aside. That is, well, you know, what do you consider full-time? You know, if you need to make $30,000, if you need to make, $50,000, $100,000, $300,000, you know, the, that certainly is going to play into it. But that aside, the first thing is this, is the quality of your audio. And I talk about this all the time because as we now know, it's the number one consideration of people who hire voiceover talent. It's the first thing they notice is the quality of your audio. And I have coached and worked with people who have come to me after years of frustration and saying, I don't know what the pro problem is. And within five seconds, I can tell them, well, it's your audio. Your audio is not good. So you've got to have quality audio. Quality of your demos will determine how quickly it takes you. Now, what that means is if you're starting off because you don't have the budget for pro demos, you're doing, you're doing um, DIY demos, which is a great strategy. I've talked about that. You can certainly make money doing that, but you will not be able to, to be able to fish in the deep end of the pond for the bigger fish bigger paycheck. You're not going to accelerate. You're just going to slow down your career. But again, sometimes you have to sacrifice. You know, if we don't, if we don't have, if you don't have the money, then you've got to put in the extra time to build it. But if, if you need something and you need to happen more quickly, then you need a pro demo and you need to email me today at training at buildawees.com because that's one of the important things that I do in helping people build their voiceover careers is produce professional demos. So you need, you need quality, a quality demo. Next thing is your audition skills need to be pretty sharp because you're going to, even if you're not on the big platforms or even if you decide not to get agents where you're auditioning for your life, basically, um, no doubt clients will still want you to read. I rarely get hired before I at least read for, even if I'm the only one in consideration, 
I almost always am asked to read, read the script before they make a final determination. So you need, need to have a solid set of performance skills and be able to audition competitively. The next thing is the amount of time that you're able to put into it. So the person who's working 50 hours a week at their, pre, at their current job, and, but they're trying to build a voiceover job, a voiceover career, might only be able to put in a couple hours a week. Or you might only be able to put in 15 minutes a day or an hour a week. Whereas somebody like me who was being downsized from a job when I started this, I worked all the time. I mean, I don't even know how many hours I worked because I was always building my voiceover business. And within six months, I was making as much I had made in my previous job. And then by 12 months, I had far exceeded it. And I just continued to grow from there. But understand, that I that I came out swinging from the get go, and some some of you don't have. I was going to say the luxury, and if you're being downsized, believe me, that's no luxury. You do it out of necessity. You're 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 swimming for your life at that point. Um, but it depends on how much time you can put in. So you just have to factor that into it. And by the way, you can build a career only putting in a few hours a week. It's just going to, it's going to take a long you know longer to do that, and that's okay. Also you need to have the right process or maybe I should, maybe that is better stated as the right plan. Activity does not equal progress. I didn't make that up, by the way. You've heard that said before. Activity does not equal progress. There are plenty of people who, who are very active. They're always running. They're doing, they're always doing stuff, but they get very, very little done in terms of making headway toward a goal. And then there are some people who it almost seems like effortless because they seem to like they're not really working very hard at all. But yet, you know, they make a they make a straight line toward where they want to go and they're very successful. It's because they have the right plan, the right process. So and that's why I created the voiceover blueprint, because that is not only the plan, but that's the that's the entire university experience. It's it's learning the stuff you need to know, but it's also the daily contact. It's the interaction. It's being with with colleagues and peers that are doing the same thing. And so uh, having the right plan is important. And by the way, if you feel like you're you're floundering in that end of things, then tonight is a live training event. Tonight is my live marketing training event where I'm going to share with you what I have done and what I am doing to build my voiceover career. Also going to share some new AI stuff that's going on that you can use to help in doing that. And of course, that's going to be changing a lot in the years to come, but I'll be sharing some things that you can do today to help leverage your efforts utilizing AI. That's happening tonight. It's a live event. There's a link below in the description, so go below and check that out. Let's see who's on this morning. We've got Nephi from Knoxville first in today. Hey, Nephi, Rusty in Michigan. Uh, Rick in Des Moines. Theo says, good morning from downtown Chicago where the sun is shining and the water is freezing, I'm sure. Ethan, hello in Toronto. Dave in New York City. Sirius in Charlotte. Chris in Minnesota. Mike, New Jersey. Emma in Huntington Beach. Jason in Newport, Oregon. Rob says, good morning from Loveland where it's primary election day in Ohio. Terry says, good morning from Chile, Falston, Maryland. Dale is in Atlanta. Melissa, San Diego. GS. In the state of Washington, Professor Tracy in Rochester, Minnesota. Bill checking in from Boise. Ron in Charleston. Bob in North Carolina. Uh, Anibus Goddess 23, good morning to you. Dewan, good morning to you in New York City. Wayne in Port Orchard, Washington. Marla in Texas. Uh, Aaron in Missouri. Let's see here. Jason, hello to you in Kearney, Nebraska. Mike in Freezing, South Alabama. John Rhinebeck, New York. Tina in Sweden, Leo in Texas, Sandra in Ohio, Dory, hello to you, Joy, good morning to you. Where's spring? I, you know, I don't know. I don't know, but it's it's not here either, Joy. It's hiding somewhere. Scotty in South Dakota, Denise in Long Island, Damon, thank you for the kind remarks in the UK. Where the, In the UK, these are lunchtime chats, so there you go. Uh, Anthony in Phoenix, Mero, hello to you. Thanks for the kind remarks. Yes, Dennis in uh, Pasadena, Alex in Utah, Amanda, good morning to you in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Uh, Gene in Dallas, Fort Worth, Greg in Dallas. Let's see here, West Virginia checking in, fantastic. Uh, Istanbul, great to have you here this morning. Mike, hello to you in Montgomery, Texas. Wally in Annapolis, Maryland. 
And uh, greetings this morning from Windy, New England. Guys, thanks for being here. I sure hope you're on the, uh, the live training tonight. Link is below in the description. Get signed up now. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.